You might be retired or in college or even in the middle of your career, but it's never a bad time to have a side hustle bringing in additional cash, especially if the economy takes a potential downturn. That's why I'm going to review 11 side hustles that can realistically bring in an extra $500 a month. And a few of them are ones that nobody is talking about, which makes them even more valuable because, well, nobody's doing them. And I get it, $500 doesn't seem like much, but if you invested $500 a month for 35 years with a 9% return, that would be worth $1.3 million. Believe me, during the 2007 recession, I had two different side hustles, being both the Air National Guard and being a photography, where I earned an extra $800 a month, and I survived about nine different rounds of layoffs. I happened to watch as most of my friends lost their jobs over a few different years, and the extra money that I was making on the side, well, that was my only backup plan. So based on my experience with side hustles, it's important that you choose one that's a good fit. I look at it from three different priorities that need to overlap, and they would be the commitment alignment, and no, I'm not talking about your love life. If you only have two hours to spare a week, then your options for a side hustle are very limited. Well, then again, I guess that could be true for your love life too. The next is the investment alignment, where I take a hard look at the financial and the time investment into the job to ensure that it's even worth it to me. I'm not going to work three hours filling out surveys for a measly $15. And the last is the potential alignment, where I need to look at what it could be worth in five years. If I were filling out surveys five years from now, I'd probably still be making only $15 for that same three hours of work. And to me, that is a complete dead end. I think that most of us would prefer a side hustle that would allow us to one day quit our job versus being laid off. And there's a fourth area that really doesn't need to overlap all the others, but it is important. And that would be the skill level that's required. And it's true that most skills can be learned, but I'm categorizing the side hustle skills as low, medium, and hard. What I'll do is cover each side hustle and then I'm gonna rank them from one to five for each of the three criteria that I listed. And then I'm gonna give it a final score a one being the worst on the scale and five being the best. Overall, a higher total score is going to be better. And I'll also list the skill level right next to it. Let's begin with thrift store flipping. This is where you go to garage sales, thrift stores, and Facebook Marketplace to find your little piece of treasure that you happen to resell at a higher price. Sometimes you can sell them as is, and other times you need to polish them up a little bit. This is one that I think is completely doable. And in fact, my niece had been doing this for several years and was successful enough that she even had her own store dedicated to reselling flipped items. In addition, here's a story of Sophie that happens to bring in 124,000 a year doing this exact side hustle. She started by selling items that she already had in her closet versus throwing them away. And she was smart to start with the things that she knew a lot about. And it was a passion for her where she enjoyed learning more about the brands that she was choosing to sell. Here's the pros for thrift store flipping. It doesn't require a lot of skill. You can work it into any schedule, so it happens to be flexible, and the investment is pretty low, and the potential is fairly high to make real money. And for the cons, you need to have some passion for looking for a deal every day, and you can be wasting your time and money if you don't know what you're looking for. And the last is maybe a limit of supply, depending on where you live. So when we add that up to the scores, it comes in at a 12 with a low skill set requirement. If you don't agree with how I've ranked them, then you do have access to the spreadsheet with my link down in the description, where you can copy it and you can change them as you like. The next is pet sitting, where you could possibly be a pet daycare during the day, where I could easily see this as a great option for someone that's working from home, a recent empty nesters, or even someone that's retired. When we lived in Seattle, pet sitting had a ton of demand because I swear everyone in that city has a pet. Overall, this side hustle could include dog walking, daycare, house sitting, or boarding for several days. I know that many people utilize sites like Rover to offer their services. And depending on where you live, you can make anywhere from $30 to $80 a day per pet. Here's an example of Kevin, who happened to make $26,000 last year, where he said he felt like it was a staycation watching the pets, and it was also security for getting laid off. The pros is that it requires very little effort. You can work from home and pet sit without really disrupting your normal work. And low startup costs, since most pet owners do provide their pets toys, beds, and the food. As for the cons, some pets could destroy your furniture, or even worse. It's also a time commitment. If you're watching a pet, you can't be away from your home for very long. 
when I score this hustle, it's a bit lower because the commitment level is high in my opinion, and you do need a medium amount of skill and passion for watching pets. That and the potential is limited. There's only so many pets that you can watch in a given day. The next is a tour guide, where you definitely need to have the right personality, and you're gonna wanna be around people. But this guy, Seth, he figured it out where he combined his love of history and booze and he made a walking tour out of it and now this is his full-time job. Depending on where you live, you may need to pass an exam to be an official tour guide. There's quite a few sites that you can leverage like Viator with locals, tours by locals, and get your guide. Or you could certainly set up your own website. When I ranked out this hustle, it came in fairly high at a 10 with a medium skill set. The commitment can be around your schedule, but it could become a full-time job if you're good at it. However, this hustle does require that you live in a place that people want to visit. If you live in Glasgow, Montana, where it has officially been named the middle of nowhere, where I can personally attest that it earned every bit of that name, then you're probably not going to make much money as a tour guide. Next is a hobby instructor, which is a perfect side hustle if you're merely sharing the love of your hobby with others. For me, I do this in the form of YouTube videos, but others provide classes on how to brew beer, how to knit, outdoor photography, or even how to make sourdough bread. One of my neighbors literally sells her sourdough starters online. As an example, Ella is making great money teaching others how to knit. Now clearly, you need to be pretty good at any hobby that you wanna teach, but talk about the perfect marriage of passion and making money. But the downside is that you do need to be somewhat social and patient enough to teach others. This side hustle ranks fairly high, but I also list the skill set as being high. In reality, you shouldn't even consider this side hustle unless you already have the skill set. The next is a mobile notary, where all you do is you travel to the client, officially verify a person's identity and signature to their official documents. States determine the requirements, but for many states, you just pass a background check and then you pay a simple fee, where the average part-time notary is making $500 to $1,000 a month. In this example, Angelina states that she's making $200 an hour and sometimes much more in very little time. I love this idea of a side hustle because you could offer your services and only take jobs at times when you want to. And if you do a quick Google search for where you live for mobile notary, see how many options even pop up. If there's only two or three in your area, then you might have a lot of potential. In my scoring, the potential is lower because the demand probably fluctuates and it isn't very consistent. But the skill set required, well, it's low. It's so low, it probably needs to be, do you have a pulse? This next side hustle, it's one that I haven't heard really anyone else speak to yet, but trust me, it is about to take off. And that's as an automation expert using a site called make.com and LLMs like ChatGPT. The whole point of the automation is to use a no-code approach using a site that does all the work for you. Companies are in high demand for people that can automate creating a website bot, scraping websites, or creating a selling agent. This YouTuber on the screen, Jack, he literally gives out tutorials on how to create all of these different automations. This is a space where there are very few experts right now, and it is a perfect area to dive into early. I happen to do business consulting with very large companies, where they are desperate to find people that can create automations with this specific tool. So let's take Jack as an example. He became an expert in this, and he shares every single one of his tutorials on YouTube. He doesn't have a lot of followers, but he offers a community group that pays $50 a month, and he has over 1,500 members. He is literally making $75,000 a month from these memberships, and all he's doing is sharing out the information. Not only is he an automation expert, but he's selling a digital product all things that you could do as an automation expert. Jack even gives out a tutorial on how to create an automation that a person can use to make an easy $100 a month per client. And I'll cover that side hustle a little bit later. The commitment and the investment isn't very high, but the potential, well, it's off the charts. The downside is that the skill set is extremely high. But the thing is, very few people are doing this today. And if you like processes and technology, then I think that you should jump on this one while it's still a hidden secret. The next hustle is web page design, where you might think that everyone's covered it already, but the skill set to me was way too hard in the past. And that's all changing thanks to platforms like Durable, which leverages AI to create custom websites. But here's the bonus. 
Even if you don't want this as a side hustle, most every other hustle requires that you have your own web page to give you and your brand some credibility. Designing a site on other platforms, it's supposed to be easy, right? But the reality is, it just isn't. But now, with AI-powered tools like Durable, it's almost like cheating. In fact, I need a new web page for Brian's Brews Clues business, where I'll teach others on how to brew beer. And wow, it, it generated this on the first go. Honestly, that looks great. And I can click on any text or image. And uh, let's go ahead and change this to Brews Clues Experience. Let's go ahead and change out a logo to some random logo. And I, I realize that this isn't a brand for brewing, but I'm just walking through the process. Wow, that, that was too easy. And looking down further, oh, oh my gosh, it created the services below automatically just from the title of the web page. Let's change the name of the title in this service to Custom Beer Tasting. Now let's try to regenerate that for the content. <laughs> Whoa, that, that is way better than I could have written. Let's, let's move down and change the About Us section. And I, I don't really love this image, so I will go ahead and I'll regenerate it. And it looks like I'm gonna do this a couple of times. And there it is, this is the one. But if I did have an image of my own, it's also a simple selection to upload one. Now I wanna add a new page like an FAQ. And it generated the questions and the answers for me. And now it is easy to go in and state that I don't like sours. Honestly, I hate sours. Now I'll go in and add a new landing page for custom beer tasting. Jeez, I've never built out a web page so easily before. This is honestly insane. It looks like they also have a section to create a brand from scratch, which you can select that option here on the main page. And it came up with a hops logo. Clean and simple, I like it. Oh wow, and when I look below, it shows me what it looks like on the web page, and then it shows it on invoices and on merchandising. And here it is down below with business cards. That, that is so cool. Now let's take a look at this whole website that I just created in about five minutes, where most of it was generated on the main page just from the name of the site. No joke, this is 10 times better than what I had spent about 10 hours creating on my own website using WordPress. I, I am so impressed. Like I said earlier, whether you choose this as a side hustle or not, you're gonna need a web page for your business. And this option from Durable is, is extremely impressive. And they are offering a 30% discount for the next three months on any plan using the code Brian30. And every plan comes with a custom domain name. Here's an example where Chris happened to teach himself web design to help get him out of his $30,000 in debt. But web design, well, it happens to be much easier today. And when I rank this job, it comes in at an 11 with, to me, a medium skill set because I feel that with AI, anyone can learn this very quickly. For this next one, I happen to be combining them since they're pretty similar. And that's the Amazon Influencer and the TikTok Shop, where you can sign up for the programs and they're pretty similar in that you're making short videos on product that you probably already have. And then when viewers look at your video and then make a purchase, then you get a commission. I did happen to try this one last fall for Amazon Influencer, where I did a video on some holiday lights that I bought and I happened to make $38 from that one video. I keep telling myself that whenever I get some free time that I'll do more, but honestly, my YouTube just keeps me plenty busy. As an example, Elena is making $1,000 a month doing this for about 20 hours a month. That's $50 an hour for a side hustle that she just happens to do in her spare time. Now that is a sweet deal. And in my ranking, it's one of the highest at 13 with a very low skill set. Both influencer programs, well, they, they happen to take applications and it isn't very consistent. My neighbor happened to apply with just her friends as her followers and she was accepted. And yet I initially applied when I had about 30,000 subscribers on YouTube and I was denied. So it isn't consistent by any means. So just apply. The next area is home services like putting furniture together, mowing lawns, car detailing, air conditioner cleaning, and even dryer vent cleaning. This happens to be an easy starting point for side hustles because there are a lot of jobs that people just don't wanna do, and they're more than willing to pay others to do it for them. You can certainly use a site like TaskRabbit to get started, or you can connect within your Facebook neighborhood groups, but also having your own website may also be a good addition. In this example, Nate is making $5,000 a month building basketball hoops and gym equipment. Once again, there's money to be made doing the things that others just don't wanna do. 
services happen to come in at a 10 with a medium skill set, but that could easily be a low skill set depending on what you choose to do. The next hustle is a content creator, like making YouTube videos or TikToks. This is one that sounds great, but I have to level with you. It is not easy. It takes a huge commitment where for the longest time, you're not gonna make any money. And then suddenly you are, but who knows how long it takes to get to that point. You have to consistently keep posting content even when it seems like you're failing. My example outside of myself happens to be my niece, Lindsay, where she and her husband had a viral clip of him painting despite the fact that he's colorblind. But she then grew the channel into her passion of the medical world, politics, and well, being her sarcastic self. This opened up a lot of doors for her, where she wound up quitting her full-time job as a nurse, and then she created a full-time job as a podcaster in Boise, where she happens to make way more than she did as a nurse. Without a doubt, content creation opens up a lot of new opportunities. Now I do rate this as an 11, but it requires a huge commitment for it to work. Just be realistic. The next hustle is a social media manager, but with a little bit of a twist. Social media managers will run a person or a company's social accounts like postings on X, LinkedIn, Instagram, or even with newsletters. Take me for example. I have been looking for someone to do this for me, but everyone I ask seems to want about one to $2,000 a month for only making one to two posts a week. That little amount of work for what they're asking for, that is not gonna fly with me. But what if you could offer this same service to me at $300 a month and post five days a week? I'm pretty sure that a person doing this could take on a ton of business. And here's the sweet part. Remember that automation expert that I was talking about earlier? Well, the entire process can be created and automated where a person could have 20 different clients where it might not take more than an hour a day to manage. And each of those automations, they can be tailored exactly to that client. Seriously, if I were looking for a side hustle today, I would do this in a heartbeat. I believe that a person could scale this up to hundreds of clients with very little effort. Like I said earlier, I do consulting with large companies and they pay big money for people to manage their social media accounts. And this makes it really seamless and simple. Some of you will figure this out and you're gonna be the first to get started. And those are the ones that are gonna be the most successful. I would gladly pay someone $300 a month to manage my social media accounts. I'm just throwing it out there. I rank this one as a 12, but with a very high skill set. Now granted, you could do this job manually, but you won't be able to scale it very high and you're gonna to have to put in a lot more hours. Now I'm gonna summarize the top side hustles by skill set. The top ranked one with the lowest skill set is the Amazon influencer or the TikTok shop and thrift store flipping just below that. Good returns for the least amount of skill. And at the medium skill set, the top score is with content creator and website design with home services and tour guide tied just below that. And for the high skill set side hustles, the automation expert is the best choice for making some real money with the social media manager just below that. Now, if side hustles aren't your thing, then feel free to check out some of my content on all my different investments. Thank you so much for watching.